Robert Stevenson. Tea by the sea. The gumption to do it in a charity shop. It's just not fair. <laughs> Is the fourth day and uh, no drama but we're leaving the house at like 12 o'clock <laughs> because we've only all just really got up. Um, where are we going? Uh, Anglesey. We're going to Anglesey yeah, which is always a, a classic. Why is it only me and mum like it's silly at the seaside? <laughs> oh, silly at the seaside, that's an album. It is. <laughs> that <laughs> is <laughs> definitely, yeah. Uh, that's a video title. <laughs> silly at the seaside. Um, are we going on the seafront or am I parking behind? Oh, we're we'll parking the seafront. Oh, I thought you said Gladys Lane then. <laughs> Gadley's Lane it is. Puffin Island Cruise. Oh, we can go on a boat. Oh, yeah. So we're in Balmaris. <laughs> Buster's causing havoc. He's jumped out of the window already and wrapped my up in a, in a lead. There we are. Um, yeah, there's the castle. Oh. The promenade. We're going to promenade in Balmaris. And um, I think me and Bernard are going to go on a boat. We're going to go on one of the. It's Puffin Island. Um, let's see. Some birds. <laughs> Happy, happy as Larry. He's a seaman at heart, isn't he? There he is. Help me out. <laughs> <laughs> Cambridge. Cambridge, Oxford. All's at the ready. Look at the parentals. <laughs> Look at these boomers enjoying their tea. <laughs> tea by the sea. They are, you're having your tea by the sea. <laughs> Can you see them too? Are you trying to get them? Wildlife. Mm. <laughs> a bit frantic, wasn't it? They're not skimpy with the steak, have they? No, there's quite a bit there. Mm. Oh my god, what is going on? And your steps. <laughs> Very kind of like Victorian. -ish. You know, like Edward. But, charity shop. I don't think you're allowed dog in there. It'll whinge. Okay, it's future me. Just wanted to go over this whole uh, haggling in a charity shop kind of drama. I didn't know I had caught like the the tip of it. Uh, that was when I first heard it, and I went oh, like that. <laughs> but this basically, this guy, there was only me and him, and there was a young girl behind the till picking up like an MP3 player, and you can just hear it like he's asking if it works, and she says I think so and everything, and then he asks, you wouldn't do four fifty for it. And she says no initially, and he was like, he goes, oh, that's a shame. What's it? Because I use my eyeglasses, I can only film for a certain amount of time, so it kind of clicks off. Anywho, so uh, that's when I kind of like started paying attention because I was like, I went, oh my god, <laughs> I went, oh my god, it's a charity shop. Thomas Pink, Emma Blake. He said, he said, oh, oh that's a shame. Uh, then after a couple of seconds, he said, would you do five pound for it? And she was like, oh, I'm, I'm not sure if we're allowed to, if you're allowed to haggle. And he said, well, it'll just sit here otherwise. 
like really arsy and she was like oh go on then basically she was basically saying yeah just to get rid of him uh so then she said she put it through the till and she said um he said would you like a bag with it and he said uh is it free and she said yeah and he goes well yeah then i can't i will <laughs> it's like oh my god then it gets even worse he says do you have change for a 20 so not only has he haggled down from 10 pound to five pound got it half price he could have paid full asking for it. Oh, are these people, these type of entitled and obnoxious people, how do they have the gumption to do it in a charity shop? Car boot's different. Flea market's different. You go there, you can haggle a price. You're fine. But he was just a, give you a fiver for it. Like that kind of thing. Like, even though it's probably worth a bit more. Like you don't do that. Not in a charity shop. One, you're depriving the charity of that money. And I get, like, a lot, I complain a lot. Like, a lot of I I'm not, I make no bones about it. I complain a lot about certain charity shops. And it's like, sometimes it's like, come on, guys, check yourself before you wreck yourself. But I would never go into a charity shop and haggle on the price. I just wouldn't buy it. And in certain countries, that's the culture. In certain countries... That is a part of the culture, the everyday culture of just bartering for a price and everything. But this guy was like a 60-year-old British guy. Being a bit obnoxious as well. And what made it work, he was very kind of like... <laughs> like that. And the girl behind the till was only young. She must have been only in her teens to maybe early 20s. So yeah, that's my little thing. That's my little take on it. I'm sure you'll have one. Please sound off below. But yeah, I think it's a bit, no, 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 a bit naughty. So yes, carry on with the video. Oh. Look, it's huge. Look at these little boats here. Yeah, Dinky fishing boats, boats. boats, leisure boats, yeah. Look, the laughing Buddha. I don't. I don't want to rub the Buddha. It looks a bit weird for him to start rubbing. But <laughs> well, yeah, well, that's our final meal. A swift drink now. We're having a swifty while we while we wait. We didn't get on a boat in the end, which I'm kind of peeved about. But I'm hoping tomorrow I might do something. So, mother, have you had a nice time? I've had a very nice time. Thank you. Very relaxing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready for a break from a break. <laughs> and look what's teasing me. Look at this, look. It is closed, but look. Animal charity. It's just not fair. Yeah, so we've gone to a place called the Laughing Buddha, which I thought was kind of nice. Because if you know, you know. And if you don't, then check out my live stream. Near enough every day at six. Be there, be square. Oh, uh, what a lush. <laughs> she's driving and all, she's drinking and driving. In loved. Yeah, she was. I'm just going to sit on you. <laughs> so you can't move without me knowing. That's what it is, isn't it, boss? Uh, you sit on us because you want to know when we're moving next. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, what's she going to do? Go get her. Go get it, go on, go get it, go go. <laughs> oh, he's just so cute when he sleeps. Hey, buddy. <laughs> just spread. <laughs> spread on the bed, look at that. Just chill down. Right, we're on our way home, but before we do, we're getting a Costa. It's Costa this way. Yes. <laughs> Drive through parking, there we go. Oh. Um, arm twisted into getting a Costa. Yeah. <laughs> Certainly I've got If arm twisting is, do you want to go Costa? And everyone went, yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's open at six, this one. Ooh. Oh, you didn't know that. No, I would have walked down. That's it, thank you.
Yeah, we're at the um, just at the seafront, having a, a coaster somewhere called Coaster. I've never heard of it before. I've got a nice latte, and we've both had our uh, bacon butties. And yeah, we've got a bus there, and we're going to go down and do a bit of a run around. Yeah, we're going to get on the beach with him. I've given it just knacker him out a bit uh, for the journey home. I've been banned from buying because there's no uh, bike, no... No room in the car. There's no... <laughs> Do you know, I've made, I've made a lot of money while I've been on holiday. This has been the best week, probably, in the past like, couple of months. I used to have these kind of holidays every year, but I know how like precious this time is, particularly with like my parents. Like, for a long time, we couldn't afford anything. So these types of holidays were the only type of you know, getaways we could afford. It's just about getting away mm. and relaxing. It's not the most kind of like relaxing central kind of like yeah. holiday, like, but it's just about breaking up, enjoying change the sun. Scenery. Yeah, change the scenery, enjoying the sun, mm -hmm. you know, getting a load of sea air, mm -hmm. and then that's it. And just enjoying yourself. <laughs> What a day, what a day. Right, so it's uh, uh, Friday, and I'm back home. Look, I'm back in this mess. Uh, yeah, the holiday is officially over. <laughs> I say officially, it's not. Oh, and I've just checked my eBay. I've been checking my eBay like every day. I've been, I've been, to be fair, I've been checking my eBay every day, but I've got a lot of orders. And I've done really well. Sales have been... It's been my biggest week, collective week, since quarter four. It's crazy. Um, that's probably akin to I've had like five massive sales, like five big ticket items that I've sold. And it happened, just so happened within this week. It happens, sometimes that happens, you get, I get like two or three within like a couple of like 50 pound plus but these were like i got i got about i got two 100 plus items sales and then a couple of other like 50 to 100 pounds and they all happened within a couple of days i think that was just like fluke however i have been increasing the amount of stock that i've got you know the big ticket items so it's not a fluke. I am working at it. I just need to keep on replacing them. Uh, however, I'm just going to go. I'm going to go to the. I'm going to go to lock up, <laughs> and I'm going to pick up my orders, and get them wrapped and sent off. Because even though I we'll put my shop on holiday mode, I'm guessing the people that bought their stuff on Monday will be like, "Where is it?" <laughs> so for some reason, I completely forgot to sign off. So, uh, yeah, this has been a bit of a saga, a bit of a Wales saga, but. Thanks for watching. Um, my next travelogue is going to be Belgium. Uh, yeah, and please stay tuned. I do lots of other things on this channel. So, yeah, any questions, contact me by all my socials. They're in my profile. But, yeah, thanks for watching. You know what to do, and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>